Hi, Mark here from AmericanAeration.com, and in this video I want to cover some of the best aerators that you can use to help aerate a pond of up to two acres in size. Before we get into the actual systems, I want to cover a few points as an introduction. Now, all of the aerators we're going to discuss today are subsurface systems. They are diffused fine bubble aerators, meaning they use a land-based pump connected to airline which connects to a diffuser that sits at the bottom of the pond or an array of diffusers and this release is a very fine bubble particulate which helps to dramatically increase oxygenation and circulation throughout the ponds and it is the most economical way to deliver this kind of reaction uh, into a large body of water. It's an extremely economical approach to, to getting this job done. So we know that we're talking about a two acre surface area or maybe something a bit less. We know that surface area is a given in this context, but the real variable and maybe the most important number that you have to keep in mind when fitting an aerator like this to a pond is the depth that you're working with. Simply put, the deeper that a diffuser can be placed, the more pond area it will affect. So conversely, if I don't have as much depth to work with, I may lose coverage uh, on what a particular diffuser can do and so I have to increase the number of diffusers to turn a shallow body of water over adequately. There's a big difference between even let's say a 6 foot depth and a 12 foot depth uh, and no doubt that uh, the deeper you can go the more a single diffuser is going to cover. So that's an important point to keep in mind as we go through some of these systems and I explain why they're using the number of diffusers that they are and kind of how they're going to be laid out. I want to mention too that these are, as the title of this presentation notes, these are some of the best aerators that I know of on the market right now in 2022. They're some of the best aerators that I can suggest for people looking to aerate a two-acre pond. The Companies behind them are all long-standing. Some have been around for 50 years plus. The systems themselves have been in or on the marketplace, listed on the marketplace, and in use for quite a few years. I mean, well over a decade and more. And so they're well vetted. And we know that they're solid performers. We know that they are reliable and effective. And I think that's very important to note because I've noticed in recent years the pond market is saturated with choices, with everybody offering a, an aerator for this or that job. And I think that from a consumer standpoint, it's great to have choices. I love that. But it also is very confusing to people because I've had customers come to me and say, I don't know what to do. I don't know which one to pick. I don't know what's going to work best or be a good selection. And so it got me thinking, you know, we need to go with history and there's been some fly-by-night outfits that come in and they sell their stuff and then they're gone again. Uh, these companies are not, are not like that. They've been around for a long, long time and they have good warranties and they have good people behind them and they have good systems. So I can confidently say that what we're going to cover here will be some of the best of the best and uh, that's really all that needs to be said. So the first two models that we'll discuss in the presentation have some versatility to them mostly in terms of the cabinet that they use for protecting the pump now the rocking piston pumps are a bedrock of the industry and are in all of these systems they're long-running reliable and powerful but they do require weather protection and so the nice thing about the first two models is this versatility in the cabinet. What I mean by that is if you have an existing shed structure outbuilding with power, you can put the pump in there. You can go with a no cabinet version, save some money, and put the pump in there. As well, they have uh, what's called a post mount cabinet, which will mount on a 4x4 post or a dock or uh, the wall of a building. Very versatile in its placement, but it's fully protective, has cooling fan. Uh, built in and just is a, a less expensive usually 
uh, cabinet version than the ground base versions, which they have those too. They also include some sound dampening foam and go through some other amenities. These, you know, they go from bare bones to a full featured kit very cleanly. And so I like that versatility because it does, it does matter to people. Some people don't need all, all of the frills. The three models, uh, other than the solar, excluding the solar, the three models that we'll cover first are also able to operate remotely. What I mean by that is if you have power away from the pond, if you don't have power by the pond, if it's 100 yards away or 500 yards away, whatever, you can typically put your pump and cabinet by the power source, connect to a larger diameter burial airline. It could come in the form of poly or PVC or some other material, whatever the company prefers to use, they'll suggest that. And you run that in ground to the pond edge where it connects to either a multi-valve manifold or a connector that will uh, attach to the weighted tubing that goes down into the water and to the diffuser itself. And so you've got the capability of running remotely from a great distance away without having to run power to the pond. Usually that's been a uh, uh, more cost effective or less expensive way to get aeration set up with remote power and it's very feasible with uh, three of these systems. Because we're also getting into the two acre size body of water and some of these ponds are oddly shaped. Some of them have a very uh, broad range of depths that they have available to work with. There's a lot of nuances to sometimes setting an aeration system up as the waters get bigger and bigger. And so sometimes I'll consider doing what's called an aerial mapping, where we will get an address or location of the body of water, we'll get some depth um, numbers from you as a customer, and we'll ask you where the power is located nearby around the pond. And then we will do an aerial mapping using Google Earth and lay out a system based on all of these parameters. And what that will tell us when we're done is where the diffusers are going to be best placed for coverage, how many diffusers it will take to cover the pond and effectively aerate it, what size of pump we will need to power those diffusers, and how much airline will be required for, to go from the pump to each diffuser. We take all those numbers and we're able to work up a very precise quote on the actual cost of the system. It's a great way to, to, to make sure you're getting what you need for proper aeration. It's a great way to confirm budgetary numbers and uh, is something that I definitely suggest people do for anything probably from about two acres on up. And at least in our case, we offer this service for free. There's no obligation, but it's an important step and I think everybody should consider doing it. So as we get into these systems, the first one I want to mention is the EasyPro Sentinel PA66 Ponderator. The estimate for coverage coming from EasyPro is it's good for two acre ponds from 8 to 12 feet deep or deeper. Again, if you go deeper, you'll cover even more area. Um, this system, again, has optional packages in terms of the cabinetry, and uh, it's from basic to full featured, which is very, very good matches a lot of people's budgets and needs to a T. It is powered by a half horsepower rocking piston stratus compressor and it powers three QS2 plate style diffusers. These are self-weighted diffusers that uh, will be placed at the bottom of the pond and they stay in place. Weighted airline is also included typically. This is 300 feet or 3 8 inch weighted airline. You could get more and basically add on to some of these lengths to each diffuser if you need to. Uh, so there's some customization there. And the, uh, the key with this is, again, if you have a pond that is, let's say, shallower than uh, eight feet in some areas, then you definitely want to consider the three diffuser array. It, uh, it, it's something that where I might not aerate down below six feet in some of these ponds. I won't worry about that ultra shallow area, but if you can get something in six feet or greater, uh, a multi diffuser arrangement like this is really the way to go. If the entire body of water is running around 10 feet or 12 feet, uh, you're going to get great aeration with this system as well. And the deeper you go, the more coverage you'll get. So you could actually see this system cover 2.5 acres if you have 16 feet of depth throughout and 
you know, there's a limit to how far you can go with that, but just use that as an estimate in your mind that the deeper you can go, the better you'll be. Um, but for this system, eight to 12 feet is the sweet spot. On the half horsepower pump, it produces 5.2 cubic feet per minute of air and uh, goes on four amps, four running amps on 115 volt. The Easy Pro warranty is two years on the pump and five years on all the other components. This to me is a very good, uh, not cheap, uh, that's not the way to say it, but it is a good value for the cost. It tends to be a little bit less costly than the other ones we're going to cover, but uh, is a great performer, so it's something to check out. The Casco Robust Air RA2 is next up, and it too will aerate up to two acre ponds, eight to 12 feet deep. Uh, now it's different in the sense that it uses a quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor and has optional cabinets available as we mentioned previously. It has two of the Robust Air uh, diffusers. They're self-weighted as well. Now you might be wondering, well, this is different than the Easy Pro. It's using a pump that's smaller and I've got one less diffuser. How can that be? Well, keep in mind that the companies all do their testing and they come up with these coverage ranges uh, that we're talking about today. These are all from the manufacturers after their testing. The Casco system uses a diffuser that in a lot of the research that I've seen, and they've been tested against other types of diffusers, plate style, stick style, and they came out to be extremely efficient. They move a lot of water and they oxygenate very well uh, versus these other types of diffusers, and it is not uncommon for us to see them uh, be able to run uh, le uh, one less diffuser for coverage compared to some of the other brands on the market. It is just an extremely capable system, and what that does for you in terms of the diffuser efficiency is it lets you use a pump that is potentially smaller and more economical, but you get the same effect in the pond. So the key with all these systems is we want to turn the entire body of water over, the whole volume of water over in a 24 to 36 hour period. That's our goal. And whatever it takes to do that, whatever it takes for the system to do that, is how we're going to set this up based on the manufacturer's um, suggestions and statistics. And so with this RA2, it provides an extremely economical way to aerate up to a two acre pond. Again, two diffusers in the system, 200 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline. The air output of the pump, 3.2 cubic feet per minute of air on 2.5 amps. Uh, that's on 115 volt. 230 volt is optional for wiring on the pump. There's no additional charge for that. Easy Pro is the same. Uh, you can get that pump wired at 230. Again, no additional charge. Warranty on any of the Casco Robust Airs, it's, I think, the best in the industry right now. If it isn't, it's got to be up there with every, everybody uh, that's pushing those limits. Uh, three years on the compressor, 15 years on the airline, and then lifetime on the cabinet and diffusers. Next up, we have the Airmax PS40 pond aerator. Uh, this system will aerate a two acre pond nine to 12 feet deep or greater. Now here we'll see another change in the compressor size. This is actually using a three quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor. It is housed in a really nice poly cabinet with a cooling fan included. All of our cabinets do include those cooling fans for exhausting the heat. But this one is a, just a very nice design. They are known for being very quiet, uh, very similar to the Casco. Casco is also gaining a reputation of being very quiet in operation, so these two models, the sound output is a consideration. Start to focus maybe in on them a little bit more. Uh, it uses three of the Pro Air four stick self-weighted diffusers, has 300 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline included, and then the compressor itself, you'll notice that it's putting out a lot more air at 5.6 CFMs. That's typical of a, a larger pump like a three-quarter horsepower, um, and then that's on a 5.3 amp draw on 115. 230 volt is optional too with I think a hundred dollar upcharge and so it's a, a very capable system and it puts out definitely a lot of air. Uh, you can also, Airmax uses the same system with an additional diffuser, a fourth diffuser to cover even larger ponds so that that is uh, I guess a point of expandability if you should choose to go that way. 
um, the manifold would need to be updated and then airline and the fourth diffuser added but that's the type of pump that we're looking at in this system the warranty on all airmax systems is three years on the compressor five years on the airline and diffuser and ten years on the cabinet finally we'll include a solar aerator here because obviously some people just will not have access to power at all and so I wanted to make sure we have that listed here we have the American Aeration AA2 solar system it aerates two acre ponds from 10 to 12 feet deep can go deeper it has a 35 foot maximum depth uh, for operation now this is a direct drive solar which means it is going to work during the daylight hours only typically from dawn till dusk uh, it can come with single a single panel a 300 watt solar panel as you see in the image but it also can have a dual solar panel array it doesn't cost a whole lot more to put that other panel in there but the additional panel will provide longer running times into the early morning and late evening hours uh, it will ensure good operation during cloudy conditions even in the winter during snow um, snowfall and different things like that it's a, a very capable system and you just extend the runtime with the extra panel this one has a quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor <clears throat> and uh, this is a an error in the literature but 200 feet not 100 feet but 200 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline is included you've got two of the uh, oval diffusers as well and then the pump itself puts out 2.8 cubic feet per minute on a 300 watt panel the warranty on this is five years on all the non-wearable parts and there's really only two wearable parts in these systems one is the air filters and the other is some seals and gaskets which typically would need to be replaced after three to five years of full-time operation um, the other point I'll make about this is you want to check because there are some uh, solar uh, rebates or, or government uh, discounts that you, you might be able to save some money on your taxes by purchasing something like this solar system and uh, we'll, we'll do a video that discusses solar more specifically and we'll get into some of those uh, those poss possible benefits when we do that but just know that that's something that could be included here anyway these are the systems that I would check out you can see that they're highly varied they use different pumps to get the job done different number of diffusers and kind of how they go about the business but they are all well suited to covering a pond of up to two acres in size um, and really anything from about seven or eight feet of depth all the way down to 40 and 50 feet so very very broad range of capabilities hope you enjoyed this hope you can use this information to help you find the right aerator for your pond certainly if you have any questions on any of these systems you can get with us at AmericanAeration.com I appreciate it if you have any questions on aeration in general too, get in touch and we'll try to help if we can for now I thank you for joining me and I hope you have a great day wherever you are